I want to share with you brothers and sisters an incident that happened to one of the companions عنهم, and it goes to show the rahmah that the Prophet had upon people who were around him وسلم, his family, his followers, even his enemies he was as Allah said we sent you as a rahmah to everybody there was a companion who was fasting in the month of Ramadan and he had relationships with his wife during the hours of Ramadan which is a major crime and a big indiscretion and mistake due to his Iman and his Taqwa he came and he told the Prophet وسلم, Ya Rasulullah halaktu I have destroyed myself the Prophet asked him ahlakaka, what destroyed you? why you say that? he said I have relations with my wife during the hours of Ramadan. The Prophet asked him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay, do you have the ability to free a slave? He said, no. He said, you have the ability to fast two months consecutively? He said, no. He said, do you have the ability to feed 60 people for each day that for two months straight you made a big crime, you have to feed a person for two months of Ramadan, 60 people? He said, I don't have that ability. The Prophet said, go sit over there. He didn't chastise him. He didn't rebuke him. He didn't uh, speak bad about him in front of the people. So the man went and he sat. Someone came and gave the Prophet some sadaqah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He gave him some dates that were enough to feed a significant amount of people. The Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told the man, come. He said, take these dates and go and feed the 60 people who you're supposed to feed. The man said, Ya Rasulullah, there's no one in Medina who is in more need of these dates than I am. I'm from the poorest people in Medina. What does it look like? I'm so poor that I need this stuff and I'm going to go and give it to someone else? The Prophet smiled and he said, then take it. And the man left. This hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam should be pondered upon and it should be considered, especially by the people who are rough and tough in our religion. They're rough and tough in their dawah. They want to give dawah to the outer community, the non-Muslims, especially the people who are parents, mothers and fathers, people who are teachers, just friends. We need to understand this hadith. Here it is, a man. He made a kabira from the kabair. He made the mistake. And in the final analysis of the situation, he walked away with the sadaqah. He didn't walk away with the sadaqah because the Prophet wasallam wanted to bend the rules or that the Nabi wasallam wanted to play around with Al-Islam. The Nabi was an individual who looked at every, situ every situation and the details of that situation, and he responded accordingly. This hadith of the Nabi and this incident shows for the person who doesn't know this religion, as he said, I have been sent with the religion that is easy, the religion that is gentle. So, those of us in the month of Ramadan who are fasting, and you should not be fasting because you're old, you're sick, then what are you doing? Allah doesn't want that from you or for you. Allah didn't make things difficult in our religion. As he mentioned in those ayat of fasting in Surah Al-Baqarah, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ الْيُسْرِ وَنَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمْ الْعُسْرِ Allah wants ease for you, and he doesn't want difficulty for you. Another issue from this hadith that we want to let you people know is, if a person doesn't have the ability to do something, then he doesn't have to do that thing. In Al-Islam, if a person had relationships with his wife during the course of the day, then he has to free a slave. If he doesn't have a slave, he has to fast two months consecutively 
And if he doesn't have the ability to do that, he has to feed 60 people. That's what this hadith shows us, that the man didn't have the ability. He was poor, doesn't have a slave. He was physically incapable of fasting two months in a row. And the man didn't have the money to give to anyone who was poor because he was the poorest of the people. So if you don't have the ability, another issue in the last issue is that if a person were to have relationships in the daylight hours of Ramadan, there is a hadith that says he will never be able to make that up even if he fasts the rest of his life. That hadith is fabricated. It's from the famous hadith of Ramadan that are fabricated. The person makes toba in a lot and he does one of these three things if he has the ability to do it. And another issue is if the husband forced the wife to do this in the month of Ramadan, she doesn't have to pay anything. She doesn't have to free a slave. She doesn't have to fast two months consecutively. She doesn't have to pay 60 people, feed 60 people. Because the Prophet never said anything in this hadith, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to his wife or about his wife. Go back and tell your wife she has to do the same thing. Because usually when it comes to this issue, it is the man who is taking the initiative. Allah Ta'ala, we ask to have rahmah upon us and to make us of those people who have rahmah. Because he says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in authentic hadith, Allah will have rahmah upon the ruhama. Those people who have rahmah, Allah will have rahmah upon them. Have rahmah on the people on the earth, and the one who is in the heavens will have rahmah upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May Allah rahmah. Allah's rahmah be upon all of you. Assalamu alaikum. You are on